Alexis Michelle. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was amazing. She's an actress. That she is. Alexis Michelle is an actress. Alaska is sugarcoating it. She's saying she's an actress. I say <laughs> But it's going to work. It's going to work. The girls are either going to love her or hate her. We now see RuPaul leave her air-conditioned dressing room. <laughs> she walks into the room to surprise these bitches. What did you think of this moment? The best part, Lexus all of a sudden turned it on. Uh-huh, uh -huh, Mama Ru, yes, I understand. And I was like, oh, girl, she is going for the Tony Oscar Emmy. One of those. Alexis probably wants a win, but she's too busy crying about it. <laughs> Alexis starts crying, and then Candy is over it. Crying over a part? Look. <laughs> like you're supposed to get some metal because you gave up the other part? Right. It's like, listen, it's fine. Some Everybody's gonna have their favorites, but you just kinda go, all right, you'll take it. All right, I'll do something with it. To me, the best part was Alexis gaslighting Candy to possibly taking the other part because it was, quote unquote, the same. We saw that load. Mm -hmm. Alexis only came in at the end. Candy was throughout. Alexis, <laughs> strategy and I see it. What did you think of this moment when Alexis started crying? I will say I probably would have done what Candy did and just walk away. But I, I would have went, right. Oh, yeah, that's what you're crying uh -huh. about. My issue with it now is I'm going, is the crying sincere? Or Ooh. is it just the one trick that she knows to do to get sympathy and to get attention? Okay. I mean, everybody else is looking at her like, what the f caused this? Do you think that Lexus Michelle threw Darian under the bus? Most definitely. If I was Darian, I would have turned around and I would have read the dog <laughs> out of her. Miss Heidi in closet. I think it's great that she dressed up like an ass. I mean, nobody else has actually been an ass with the exception of Alexis Michelle. Kahana is upset with Heidi for jumping on her in Snatch Game. Mm -mm. And then Candy is upset with Heidi for telling Jimbo off camera that Candy is going to vote Jimbo off even though they're in an alliance together. And Heidi then involves Alexis. <laughs> what did you think of this moment? Alexis, the Snatch Game was good but we about to let you hold it. Let me tell you something. You sat there and them people looked you in your face and said, Alexis, tell the truth, mm -hmm. shame the motherfucker devil. Uh. What did she do? She ain't give the devil no shame. Well, what's weird is that she said, yes, that's what I heard. Mm -hmm. I heard that. And then you got Candy that goes, that's not what I heard. Let's she thought, it. I'm gonna get my ass kicked, so I'm gonna turn this around. And there's poor Heidi sitting there going, well, I didn't pull this from the sky. You could tell she didn't. You could tell. Now, you got Alexis and Candy mad at Heidi for just saying what she heard and saw. No, Alexis wasn't, she, you wasn't mad. She wasn't mad at all. Mm -mm, mm -mm. She was scared. It's shady, 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 shady. She's doing one of her dramatic speeches. I'm gonna miss her the most. You know, with that snoogy ass voice she uses and she says that and I'm thinking no you're not no you're not and the only person that calls her out is Jimbo Jimbo calls her out on it that's when she confesses it wasn't really a promise Alexis Michelle digs deep within her breasts to find not only hair but a lipstick that says la la re how dare you do that to your homegirl that's supposed to be your crush. <laughs> my drag race. Ooh, La La Ri is over there. My, ooh, I'm so excited to see my drag race crush. Well, the thing so they... why would you send your crush home? La La saved her the week prior. And then she's like, I'll never forget this. I'll never forget what you've done to me. I'll remember this my whole life. Which of course kind of sounds like, I got you, bitch. I got you. I'm there for you. I care about you. I like you. And here was her first opportunity to wipe out one of the biggest competitors. She could have gotten rid of Candy Muse just like that. Sent her packing, but she went and chose sweet La La Ri with that ugly dress and too short How sleeve. dare she? How dare she? How dare she? She comes with that bull of, I'll never forget this. I won't forget it at all. I know what you've done for me. Which to me goes, you know, you got me, right? You got me. And you like even think... says it. She's been lying. She's lying to everyone's face because, like, remember when uh, Heidi was asking her to confirm? Oh, yeah. Lie number one. Lie number one. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. she was like, yes. No. no. It, uh, hello. Yeah. The fact that she's been crushing on Lala Reed so openly throughout the season, mm -hmm. you would think that, hey, bitch, if you want this one. <laughs> you would at least save them yes. so that you could put that 
in your mouth. And now she's turning her story because like she was all up in Lala Ree's like culo, mm -hmm. but now she's all like, well, I guess I'm gonna find Candy Muse attractive. Oh yeah. That's and that is lie number three. That is honey, that's lie number four, five, and six. Oh baby. damn. Uh, me. I just don't like her tactic and I don't think it's even strategic at this point. Do you think being first is a good thing or a bad thing? If you were Alexis Michelle, you would go first because then maybe the judges will forget how bad your set was <laughs> by the time Jimbo goes last. Who do you think struggled the most in this challenge? I think they all did a fairly good job. Just say it. I want to say, say that it. the worst the worst one for me was I don't think that she necessarily thought that she was doing bad or doing poorly. I I <laughs> I don't think anyone felt like they were doing poorly. I think that they all thought that they did a great job. So who was it? It was Alexis. I think she looks gorgeous. I think she's looked gorgeous the entire season. Okay. Um, she even looked go gorgeous when she was delivering these god awful jokes. Okay. Alexis Michelle apologizes to Lala Ri. Do you think Lala Ri appreciated that? I mean, yeah, but it's so weird and awkward. Why? You see, I guess Lala's just a better person than we are because she sat back and took it to heart and was she like, mm -hmm. either that or she's a really good actress. Actress. And she's like, Stupid bitch. Exactly. They're very that. You see what I'm saying? Do you think Alexis has a chance with this relationship with Lala? Oh, this awkward ass moment that's happening? <laughs> well, well, that's the apology. Well, well so maybe... now we're into this <laughs> we're the, come on this, moment. This, this weird moment where she's like, what's your boy name? And I thought. And she, <laughs> which her response is brilliant. Perfect. Brilliant. Perfect. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I don't even think I could have thought of that moment because I would have been so. Disgusted. I think it was her nice way of saying, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. That was a very nice way. That was the. I know if you've been watching Pit Stop, I've been giving a certain individual a hard time, but an honorable mention to a gorgeous runway look is Alexis Michelle. Very much so. Everything I have said about you this entire season is true. Now, who has been your least favorite? <laughs> Alexis Michelle. Okay, got it. She is pretty. From a distance with a glass eye. <laughs> From a bar. And Alexis Michelle won the lip sync. Do you agree? No. 